Whee! Yes, baby, look at that. Bam, come on, baby. You want to call more friends? You do that, okay? As long as you don't call zombie bears and dogs, we should be fine. Oh, there's more streamers. Okay, let's kill all the streamers first. Oh, balls, there is a lot of streamers. Crazy guys and girls and fellow gamers, my name is games 2 and welcome back to Smarter Days to Die, where we play 7 Days to Die modded. And we're back with War of the Walker Season 1, where we're working on our base. Season 1, for you who joined only the channel or are new to the whole thing, this is purely War of the Walkers building. We're, we, we're going to finish this season, but we wanted to continue working on our base, which is actually getting quite big now, as you can see here. And we're working in the moment on the forging room whatever you want to call it so this is basically where all the shenanigans go down making cement getting stone and doing the mining we are at bedrock right now you can't see it because we're hiding away here behind our walls and we also can make everything bigger apparently you can go up to 30 by 30 nearly um or 20 20 by 20 um area and there's no collapse as long as you don't build on top because if you start building on top things on top will start to collapse so you have to be careful about that but anyway we're going to continue working on our base we have to prepare for the horde night though which is going to be coming in day 21 so it's still gonna be a thing that we're gonna have to fight the zombies <laughs> we can't just ignore that and we have a couple of quests there that we also need to still complete anyway i hope you guys are gonna have a good time watching the episode if you do remember to kick that like button in the balls to support the channel and if you're new to the channel and you like what you see hit that subscribe button so let's get started. All right, I just quickly had to reload the game because there's two things we changed. First of all, we changed it to losing the tool belt only, and that is because we're using a big back a big backpack mod, and the big backpack mod plus all our items in the queue plus all our items in here is actually more items than our death bag can handle. So which means items get lost, okay, if you're full on everything, you know, so you should never die with a full inventory. So by tool belt only, it means when we die, we get a chance to empty our bag, which is more let's player friendly, and it also fixes the, the problem with losing items. Um, and another change is I went from insane back down to survivalist in difficulty. Simply, insane is fun to play, and I enjoy playing it a lot on insane, but the problem is that, again, for let's plays, you might not find it um, the, the easiest thing to do, because, um, as a few of you have said correctly, you don't want to watch no non-stop just beating the one zombie you don't mind long fights when it comes to beating hordes but of course you don't want to watch just like 10 minutes of fighting one zombie so what we're going to do is we're leaving it on um survivalist that that's the difficulty below uh, insane and we're gonna go from there i'm gonna do that with all the other let's plays where i raced it to insane um so that way we should have uh, less time spent on fighting individual zombies. Um, it's a balance we have to hit, you know, this is how you do it, you know, you try some things out and you see if they work or not. Anyway, here's our auger, which is gonna be severely loud, so um, I'm gonna have to try to remember to lower these in post-production. Now, the reason I'm going out here is because this will go into this direction. If we go out here, we have a lot more leeway in where we're building because we're building nothing on top, okay? And we are also going to move probably our production then into a little bit of a back room because we want to be on top of our uh, forge center where all the screamers will come. We want to make sure that we have like something to destroy them, like a nice, nice little spike, flat spike area, something like that. Something that's easy, you know, where they just can walk on and go and that's it. And underneath, we just kind of a little repair zone or something. But this is the idea to get out here that we don't build accidentally something. So I would say we're going to work until four o'clock and then when the day breaks and we have no more running zombies we're going to go and start working on the defenses we also want to want to at least put on our one side already put the blade traps in so we can see how that might work we might need multiple generators i don't know yet um or we have one big massive generator and then multiple relays going into different directions that probably would be best i'm not sure that though i don't want to lose everything because one generator goes offline we might have a backup generator that we can connect to i'm not really sure how that works out yet but we'll see it's gonna be fun so this year we're gonna go out I don't know how long we're gonna just build a tunnel going out this way and it's gonna be fun it's gonna give us a lot of resources and that should allow us to uh, queue up a lot of uh, stone here and cement look at that we're burning cement really nice I'm gonna have to bring or make a couple of more cement mixes actually as well which we should have the resources for if we don't have the engines we're just gonna do a very quick trip over here you can see there's cars here there's a car here there's loads of cars still left in this town which you can destroy well there's about three actually there's one two three four five six seven eight Eight. there's eight cars alone here just in this area which is really nice and then if we still need more cars we can just head over to one of the zones here i mean there's another town here which has a few cars left as well as you can see here so that should be no problem to find more engines to make cement mixes so let's have a go nice 
And also for these type of things, when we have these collapses, um, I am actually crafting stone. The reason I don't want to use uh, destroyed stone is destroyed stone doesn't really have a very good load bearing uh, value. So if you look at destroyed stone here, because somebody was saying, oh, just make destroyed stone. And you're absolutely fine, yeah. But destroyed stone can only hold a max load of 20 and has a mass of 10 by itself, which means two blocks of, its, of itself and it already starts collapsing. So I don't find that a very good um, resource to use to fill in the holes. I make proper stones like these guys here. I don't know if we can actually see them in here. They are proper stones and they are... They, these guys here and they have a proper value like to hold things in place so this is i crafted about 50 or something upstairs in the cement mixer queued them up that should actually like help us out a lot all right so i think this is the shape of the tunnel that i want to have first um it's gonna be very narrow it's not gonna be too high because i want to continue with the height of this here i don't want to go any higher so it will only have one row of plain wood in the middle and three here so that should be wide enough i think that would be good Um it took me a bit to work out because um well mats you know so there you go and it's gonna look nice upgraded so we're having all this here and we can paint it obviously like any type of color we want in the end we're going to actually have to get into paint production as well which means we're gonna have to set up a little corner where we're gonna constantly grow um chrysanthemum whatever we need uh, for making colors i think it's chrysanthemum so let me just see here paint to make paint oh this we can't grow but this version here we can so cotton chrysanthemum and goldenrod so if we make a very lovely underground farm somewhere and we can do that out this direction here so if we go here we could actually make a little path going into an area where we have a little underground farm that would be really lovely little underground farm and a little corner area where we're gonna harvest everything put everything together because if we have everything in one room that would be amazing and murky water is not a problem because we have an infinite water source that we made here as well now if you don't know how an infinite water source works it's actually quite straightforward where's the bucket i had a bucket i had a bucket on me i probably have it here somewhere and i just can't see it i don't know i probably brought it back upstairs but basically the idea is you have oh it's in here there <laughs> so you have your jars and you fill up your jars if you haven't seen it the re it's not exactly like minecraft it doesn't fill automatically but one of the corners you basically dump the water to go in the uh, to go across yeah so what you do is you just take the water from anywhere and the corner you put the water in originally stays actually with a drop of water and you just take your bucket pick it back up and put it back in and that's it so there's your infinite water source which is absolutely fantastic so we don't have to worry about water we can take that and put it into a different room as well like and make multiple infinite water sources which is going to be really nice but anyway first jobs first let's uh, continue upgrading this oh that's that's not good i don't like this i have a really big aversion towards one thing being different <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Now it's the same again. Okay, so I'm gonna continue working on this here for a little bit. I would say I would say to about here and That should be far enough away from the main building so we can start actually making a really nice area for Maybe we go a little bit further. I think we should go maybe to here and That will be far enough that we can make a nice little area on top, which is going to be just spikes basically and we're going to drill our way up right through the middle so we know where the uh, where the room size is and we're going to put a spike area right on top of it and that will make sure that anything coming from screamers from any heat maps generated will just die which is walking over the the heat map all right that took actually a lot of uh, <laughs> fixing because there was a lot of sand and gravel here like so i just use wood blocks in the moment and we're just going to leave the unupgraded lo uh, wood blocks there so this should now look really really nice going down and i can't wait to actually get the paintbrush in here and make it a really really lovely um color so let's see what we have here nice so like i said for any holes in the moment because i didn't want to go up and get the stone just to save time i uh, decided to oh look at that that is lovely that is nice okay we already went in here one but that's fine that's fine and this here up here is going to be this way around so we already have come on copy rotation excellent oh that is gonna look really nice i mean i don't know what to paint yet i don't want to go with umbrella corp again because umbrella corp was fun while it lasted but we have to do a different design i was thinking kind of maybe a nice white wall with maybe a brick floor or something i don't know something 
like that. Okay, supply this rotation here. Very nice. I think we're going to be using up all the blocks nearly. This is lovely. And I know you guys enjoy the building. So I'm going to leave a lot of the building in as much as I can. This looks nice. It's a little bit on the squeeze side, but it looks like a TIE fighter exit or something. I think it looks really nice. I actually think it gives it a little bit of character not being exactly the right height or not being exactly that much higher. But we're going to do higher and much, much bigger tunnels because we can. We can. I didn't know that, that we actually can do that, that it won't collapse. So there seems to be a lot of structural integrity in stone. So uh, let's upgrade this. Ah, it doesn't... You can't do it like that. You can't do it like that. I thought we would be able to just go back, 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 back and really run fast through it and upgrade them. But I don't want to have the second upgrade because I don't know when you paint it with the texture tool if you will see that it's a different um, layer that it's at. I don't know. I'm not sure. Or will it just change the texture no matter what? I think it might be changing it no matter what. But I like to keep consistent. That's... People who build themselves in seven days to die, they know exactly what I'm talking about. Being consistent is key here. And it's not too bad. I mean, look at this. We're actually upgrading it really, really fast. Oh, here we have some issue with a block in here as well. Very good. There we go. Well spotted. Nice. We're not well spotted actually at all. <laughs> but we went for a big grind for wood in the last episode. So we have over 15,000 wood or something. What is it like? Oh, yeah, it's down to 12,000. Yeah, there we go. 12,000 something wood. We killed so many trees. <laughs> Actually, that reminds me, we're going to have to make a tree farm as well. Look at that. It's looking nice. I love it. I'm really liking it. And then we get into our forge room here, which is in the moment the forge room. But right now above, we can't really do any spikes. And the, this design we have up there is not meant to fight hordes or fight zombies. It's literally just for character and design. That's, what, that's why I use these round pillars, like, because you can see they're really close to each other in, in, on the north, south, and east, and west sides. So on the, on the long-facing side, so it's absolutely impractical. So let's see, do we have some food in here? No, but we have loads of water in here. Holy balls, why do I get that quest sound? There is so many quests. We, at some point, we're gonna have to sit down and either get rid of quests or actually do them, because it's getting to a point where it is rather frustrating that I have so many quests here. Some of the, most of them, they're not even class quests, they're just quests. Well, steel tool mastery, that is um, a challenge, which is a steel fire arcs, a steel pickaxe. Oh yeah, because I'm using the diamond tools, I'm actually not making any steel tools. So we should probably look into making steel tools, to be honest, just to have them. Okay, so let's eat a little bit. And then we're going to go up and um, start working on the defenses. But first, before we forget it, because it takes a long time to get cement and all that stuff going, we want to make sure that, um, let's put it actually in the fridge. Let's make sure that we have enough um, concrete mixers down here so we can get the show on the road. There we go. Excellent, there's nothing in here? No, brilliant. All right, look at that, all fresh. Now let's go upstairs. There we go. Very nice. So you can see here, this is not made for hordes. Well, you can see it in a second. There you go. Oh. We went right into the neighboring hole. Holy balls. Yeah, I just wanted to show you how to get in and out of my base. <laughs> so <laughs> I accidentally moved the, uh, the character. Okay, here we are. And as you can see here, that is um, where the hole is. So right here, this is not made for fighting hordes. You can see that. It's absolutely not. So let's go up. Come on, where's my staircase? Ah, here we go. Nice. What a pissy weather. Also, somebody said something about a drawbridge here. Yes, I think I completely forgot that it was going to make a drawbridge um, across. <laughs> so I think, I think that plan might go out the window now because I'm not going to destroy all these. Uh, I don't want to destroy all these. So what we're probably going to do is we are going to connect those guys. like this so we're probably going to connect them or we're just going to put pillars here actually 
And uh, yeah, we're gonna put the pillars here. Where's the rebar for Oh, we don't actually have the rebar with us. And we're gonna connect all these to the rebar, and then we're just gonna have uh, this go here. End of story. Here on top, I'm not really sure what we're gonna do. I was thinking maybe a couple of turrets placed in different places with a little bit of a generator in the middle, that that would be lovely because it would just kill all the zombies as they come past. Um, do we have any special turrets in this version? Let me see here. No, we still have only the outer turret and the shotgun turret. Um, Auto turret, I'm not sure. I was told it misses a lot. So I think I'm going to stick with the shotgun turret here. And we go to the trader and see if we can actually buy some. So it saves us to, to actually build them ourselves as well. And we have a lot of money, so I'm not really too worried about it. Do we have any more? No, we don't. So we actually run out of most of these materials. So let's go and see if we can make another concrete mixer. And then we can hopefully... Come on. There we go. We only have one in the moment and it made stone. Yeah, I queued up 50 stone. What is that? Look, max load 120 and mass 10 is a hell of a lot better than uh, destroyed stone. We already have a zombie screamer queuing up down here. So let's just, oh, we have three bullets left. I made a lot of bullets. Where is she? I'm not really sure. We have to wait until she makes more noise. Now, also, you guys were absolutely correct, yeah? I was queuing up a lot of bullet tips and buckshots and all that jazz. I was emptying basically the forges so we can start taking them downstairs. And loads of bullet casing, all the shenanigans. And the one thing I didn't pay attention to is like, when we're making bullets, I, maybe I can still correct that mistake, is when we make the 7.62, um... Why is that only showing up as this? There is more bullets. There is more bullets. Let me see here. There is... Oh, the 762 only... Oh, there we go. 762. It doesn't have the dot. So 762. Um, the hollow point. We already know how to... Oh, we don't know how to make the hollow point bullet. Interesting. And it's only for the M25 sniper rifle. So when it comes to 7.62 bullets, this is the only one we can make, I think. So if we look at, we can't even change the um, ammunition, but when it comes to the other bullets for um, the Remington and all that, there seems to be a lot more available. Let me see here, 9.52, what is that other one? I don't even know anymore, what is it? Bu um, bullet casing, recipes, there's a nine millimeter hollow point which can be used for anything. Um, oh, it's actually only for pistol. That is interesting. So the nine hollow point is only for bullets. The 32 millimeter, that's the one for the Remington. And does the 32 millimeter come as an alternative? I don't think so. No, it doesn't. So we're actually pretty limited. So the hollow point here is very good, but that's again only for the Desert Eagle. So we're gonna be focusing on that when we make them. And then we have the 556, which is for thumbs. So if we do, I don't know what the difference is between 556 and 556 NATO bullet, but um, you can probably answer that for me in the comments, which one is stronger. But we're still missing all the recipes here. So that is interesting. So maybe we can make some blueprints because if we have the bullets, we can make the blueprint because the bullets sometimes we can find. And we also seem to have a lot of engines that we can use for more cement mixers. I might still go on a binge because on a grind because let me just quickly have a look here. This is our kitchen area and our medicine area. Look at this. We don't have a lot of engines, spare engines. So we probably have to go on a grind. So let's focus on right now getting the defenses ready. I'm just going to empty all that and put that in the places where it belongs. We're going to queue up some more cement mix. Actually, we're going to take this downstairs. Yeah, this one here, we want to take that downstairs. Ah, balls. Every time I log in, I have to destroy this block and place it down again. Oh, she's screaming now. She hasn't seen us, so we should be okay. Where is she? Ah, she's seen us. There we go. Ah, balls. Okay, let me just grab it. Then we're going to go down, clean up the mess. And there we go. Now we can take it. Is there any tools in there? No. Yeah, it's basically, I place multiple of these um, blocks and whenever you place one, the last one becomes inactive. So as far as I know, so they don't like to work uh, in tandem with each other, which is a big pain in the balls. So let's get going. Let's clean up down here. Then we're going to bring all our stuff out. Whee! Yes, baby. Look at that. 
Bam, come on, baby. You want to call more friends? You do that. Okay, as long as you don't call zombie bears and dogs, we should be fine. Oh, there's more streamers. Okay, let's kill all the streamers first. Oh, balls, there is a lot of streamers. Any more streamers? No. Okay, let's start chopping people down. There we go. Ah, balls, the grass is in the way. Come on. It's very hard to hit these guys as well. You have to get really close. There we go. Come on. Nice. Not so high. Not so high. Go about neck height. If you want to hit the head, you have to aim for the neck. Oh, look at that. 69. Yeah, happiness before death. Okay, I think that's it. That wasn't too bad for a couple of screamers. Are you trying to get away there, sir? Oh, ma'am. I'm sorry, ma'am. Okay, so very good. Now, come on. Turn. Okay. I'm used to um, Raven Nurse where the corpses turn really, really quickly. All right, I have been to and fro a lot between my mining center and this just to get things organized and put them where they belong. We actually had so much cement in here, I have to stop making cement. So we have uh, 5,000 cement queued up. We have another 5,000 that we have here. I actually already had 3,000 in my chest, so I only had to wait for about 2,000, so which is fine. So we're ready to go. I have everything we possibly need in here, but what I also want to do is get a little bit more organized. So one of the things is just a little touch. The, not the cooking pot, but the mortar and pestle you guys were saying I should put here. Because it makes it look like this is actually used. Now, I don't know. I probably will put it like, like this. End of story. And then we're also going to put the campfire here instead of the corner. So that we... This is basically cooker. End of story. Um, I wish... War of the Walkers, like Ravenhurst, would add real cookers. There's uh, something called a plumbing kit, which most uh, mods use. Um, I think the first time I saw it was in Valmont. Ravenhurst uses it as well. It's a plumbing kit, and for the kitchen sink, it's sorry, it's a plumbing kit, and then there's like an oven repair kit or something, yeah? And uh, look how it works. It's really, really nice, and it allows you to make like real working sinks and real working ovens. They, they just act as campfires and water source, end of story, like so. But it makes them look really, really nice. Also, another thing we want to see if we can do is a faucet i don't know if it's actually called a faucet what is it called i don't even know if we can craft it <laughs> the water thing on top you know I, it's called a faucet isn't it or a tab a tab a tab or a tap no okay so i i can't see it anywhere maybe we can't craft it in this mod anyway so the pestle is here we want to put one of those guys in there just in case and Golden tea extract is apparently a thing. And then with goldenrod tea, which is a really, really, not goldenrod, not goldenrod, green tea, which is a really, really good juice. If we we go into the campfire and make it with a cooking pot, we need green tea extract and bottled water. We have lots of that. And we have an infinite water source. We can make some glass bottles. It's fine. We can do a lot. So what I think in the moment is we should make about 20 of them. So we need about 40 green tea extracts. So if we make 40, there you go. That is really, really good. I like it. Oh, they take actually quite long to craft, but look at these little tea bags. Oh, that's awesome. I love it. Gives a little bit of um, something different, you know, it gives a little bit of variety. Also, another thing that we have is the apples here. We can actually make apple juice and we can do that also in the camp, oh, not in the campfire. Is it campfire? Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Apple juice. Yes, we can. So if we put a little bit of wood in here, there we go. We can make apple juice. Now, we only can make 12 because of the number of apples we have. So let's make 10 and then make another 10 goldenrod tea. Just so we have, again, some variety, spice in life, all that jazz. And we do not need that much. So that is a minute and 30. And there you go. That's definitely enough. Look at this. So we're getting prepared. We're getting things done. And we're adding a little bit spice to our life or whatever you want to call it. So here's if we eat that. That will definitely help us out. And we have some green tea for drinking. I love the green tea. It's like good health, good wellness all around. Really, really nice. Um, let's do that as well. Eat that. There we go. Look at that. That's a 97, 96. Can we have another bit of good food? Yes, there we go. Eat that and then have another green tea to make up to make up for the drink. Nice. Awesome. Look at that. Our immune levels are going up. Our 
wellness is we're gonna get our wellness to 250 guys we're gonna do that we're gonna pay attention to that now and we're gonna get it done what was that soporizing oh very good so this is actually goldenrod sorry green tea is what you want to take with you then i suppose if you are um, out and about and you're lo using a lot of grain alcohol or whatever like you know to keep yourself topped up um, on your stamina now also another thing seeing that everything is moved now underground i want to whoa 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 charlie like usually i don't have the sound on for that <laughs> so it's about time we haven't done any defense work holy balls we have done so much base work i hope you guys don't mind anyway one of the things that i want to do here is bullet crafting and gun piece crafting now when i looked through where everything is crafted it seems that bullets are just crafted in a workbench so i think hey workbench fine excellent let's put it right here that's where we craft our bullets now the this guy here is the there you go that will work is the weapon smithing station and that actually allows you to do all the rifle parts and all that just now we haven't learned anything yet but this will let you craft all of that stuff all you need is an anvil and a caliber now i assume some parts you're going to need that which i don't know when you would need it but we'll see I have no idea um, what we need that for. We'll, it probably will come up at some point. What would require a tool and dice set? I have no idea. So far, so good. Anyway, we're going to have to find these recipes, which is actually really good. Gives me a little bit of a reason to go out looting like more, you know? Or we just craft them ourselves. All the bullet stuff is going to be in here. Now, we need to make some bullets. So, I think we want to take about 250... Yeah, let's take 250, and that would allow us to hopefully queue up 7.62 ammo. There we go. And, oh yeah, we need the gunpowder as well, you dumbass. Where did you put the gunpowder? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Holy balls, I completely forgot that that's where we make gunpowder. Oh, man. Here we go, there we go. Look at the gunpowder, very, very nice. Loving it. Okay, so what do we need? We need one gunpowder or something, is it? We need one of each, three gunpowder. Wow. Can we craft that anywhere else that it's not that expensive? Can we craft it in here? No, we can't. So three gunpowder seems to be the, guess we got, the, the best we're going to be getting. Wow, okay. Very, fair enough. I mean, it makes sense. You need a lot of gunpowder. So 250, there we go. Ba-bam. End of story, done. Now, let's put that back and let's put that back and wait for the bullets to come in. And this is where we have our guns. Sorry, this is where I have tools and melee weapons I'm going to put in here for the moment. And this is where we're going to put like pistols, whatever. Where's my rifle? Oh, my rifle is here. Okay, excellent. So let's see if we already have a couple of bullets done. Very good. That should be enough just to, to, to give ourselves a little bit of backup in case something bad happens. There we go. Let's load it all up. How many can we put in? 15, is it? Or five? Okay, let's get another couple of bullets in. There we go. Nice. Okay. Woo! Oh, what is that icon? Green tea. Look at that. Nice. One stamina for everyone. That is amazing. That is really nice. And our core temperature is increased, though, by 14%. Ooh. All right. Do we have another screamer coming up? I hope not. Because now we have to go downstairs and start putting down our... Oh, another thing that we have to do is we have to make new weapons and tools sorry new new diamond tools i want to see what the highest is we can craft in the moment um where is my diamonds here we go we need about 20. and i made loads of tungsten in one of my um yeah it's this one in one of my four two forges actually have made tungsten so let's see a tungsten club i would be interested oh a tungsten machiti <gasps> oh yes baby let's see if that is better than the gold one and it's so cheap and it's so oh man we're gonna have to make a few of them and then make them bigger like you know oh look at that that is 45 damage compared oh 45 a golden one seems to be better a gold tip machidi seems to be better so if we have a gold tip machidi which we need this for and only forged iron wow 
Oh, we gotta have to make one of those just to see actually the difference. I think we're gonna do the defenses in the next episode, guys. <laughs> oh, look at that. Holy balls. Yes, please. Let's just do a couple of those and see how it goes. Do we have forged iron on us? Yes, we do. I wanted to bring the forged iron and the steel and stuff over here because I don't think we're gonna use a lot of it down in the forging area. And in the forging area, we always can make more. So bringing it up here for crafting, I thought would be wiser. Now let's see if we can actually upgrade it. Look at that. That is amazing amazing 540 that is so awesome now the gold tip uh tip one it's craft of three as well screw it unbelievably awesome and then we have to make a couple of those guys so we want to make actually how quick oh they take three minutes though okay um can we speed that up somehow no okay we're gonna queue it up and leave it in there. Let's just make one first and then before we make the others to merge them so we can make one of each of those tools and then merge them together with our existing ones. And that way we should probably see, actually we're gonna merge these two together anyway. And repairing that is only forged tungsten. Yeah, absolutely. Actually, before we do that, let's repair that one. So they merge, oh, it already happened. Oh, sorry, I thought it was the same queue. There you go. Anyway, this is amazing. Look at the strength of that. That is so fine. And the durability is 1,695. Here we go. It's popping in now. Anyway, after this, I'm going to leave the episode here, guys. I hope you're enjoying these episodes still because they're more a bit, you know, do what we want rather than, oh, we need to do this to progress. Well, we still have to do a little bit of progression, but you know what I want, uh, what I mean. Like the stress is kind of gone. Oh, my Lord. Look at that. This is 50 damage by itself, which is more than the 540. Uh, why is gold stronger than tungsten or diamond? I would have assumed diamond is the strongest. Is that is that a bug? Is that something that shouldn't be a thing? Because you're only using forged iron. That does not make sense. That should not be stronger than a diamond one. Meh. Okay, we might as well make a tungsten club and see actually how that holds up. Just so we have something in comparison. That would be awesome. Anyway, let's merge these two together. There we go. 474. Look at that, 51 damage, that is amazing. So we're going to leave that here as a backup. That is, oh man, we're gonna kill it. Absolutely kill it with this one. And this one goes into here, nice. We should probably repair the spike club, it's only fair. There we go, excellent stuff. This is 23, 47, block damage 754. And this has a higher block damage as well, wow. That is just, and what's the durability on that actually? The durability is very low. So that is what makes it a very sensitive uh, tool in that sense. So lower durability, higher strength. I don't know. I would have assumed diamond is still stronger though. I don't know. You can let me know in the comments. Some of you might be actually expertise in that. Anyway, I'm going to leave this episode here. This is amazing. We're going to do a new knife as well. Actually, we're going to queue up a new knife as well. Thank you very much. Uh, for joining me in this episode and I hope you enjoyed it if you did remember to kick that like button in the balls and I hope to see you guys in the next episode and if you're new to the channel and you like what you see hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time until then as always feel spaß and happy gaming all right in preparation for getting our defenses down here we're gonna have to dig a couple of blocks down and have to extend our uh, legs so I put support everywhere so that if we move them hopefully they won't collapse okay and we're gonna go one more down there excellent and now we're going to Put these guys in and upgrade them and then we're gonna let them dry and upgrade them to steel yeah so this one here these guys here we want to upgrade them to steel this is where the spikes will be and we have to go one more down to uh, lay a foundation because we want them once they break through the spikes we don't want them to dig underneath so we're going to have to make two blocks down one below that one a whole layer of rebar frames and upgrade it to concrete and possibly steel so that is the idea so these guys here upgrade it to steel I think if zombies are standing here on that level we should probably upgrade all of them but I think one two three four that will do in the moment and we're gonna do that with all of them so let's um let's start digging I suppose so one more here excellent And then here, and that means then once this is all done, um, we have a very easy time laying the uh, defenses. Very good. I like it. Oh, this is actually one higher than the other ones, is it? Oh, 
Oh, we have a roaming horde now. Why do we have a roaming horde now? Holy balls. That is all. Let's test our new machine. Oh, yeah. 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 Ooh, don't hit anything. Don't hit anything. Why, why am I missing? This is just ridiculous. Why am I missing anything? Oh, even the big lady is gonna go down in two hits. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. Don't even touch it. Why did I miss there? That is still a mystery to me. Like, why do I miss, like, sometimes? Oh, the head. I'm, I'm aiming for the shoulders too much. Um, I think I'm gonna have to... Uh, sorry, for the head too much. I have to aim for the actual shoulders. Okay, where's the rest? Come on, guys. You're not gonna get away that easy. Don't walk away from me. <laughs> oh. Nice. Oh, that is amazing. I love it so much. Oh, I think there's a perk to actually increase the chances of exploding four faces. Oh, nice. We're gonna keep all those close. We're gonna have a tailor section, by the way, in our base, which is gonna be amazing. 